Hello, creative souls. Welcome to this sanctuary where you can transform your dance and soul and speak your authentic voice. Who is that lucky soulful dancer? Who are they? What do they do? How they think? What's their mindset? Why are they successful and happy? The best is yet to come, so stay tuned. This is my definition of what is a soulful dancer. It's a dancer who is totally aligned with themselves. They are aligned with their dance value, with their human values. They feel fulfilled in their art, in the way they do it. They have a unique dance voice. They maybe have created their own style as well. They always follow their perspective. That means they literally do what the fuck they want. That's a soulful dancer. So if you are a dancer, whatever you are now at the beginning of your professional journey, or if you already have some years of experience, I'm sure you already have an idea of what you like or what you don't like. For example, I'm sure you have already experienced situation you didn't like. Me at the beginning, at the very beginning when I was starting to dance, uh, I was taken in a small dance company. And our mentor asked us to go dance in restaurants. So I can tell you that after doing it once, I already knew I didn't like it. And guess what? I did it for two years. Is that ringing a bell to you? It was really not fulfilling for me. And I was not agree with what I wanted to do because she was telling us, you should do this, you should do that. And I didn't like it. And I didn't like to dance in restaurant because... As my perspective, and you, you, if you like to dance in restaurants, there is no problem with that. If you like it, it's fine. But personally, I didn't like it. I didn't feel I was being uh, recognized for my dance. I was just feeling I was just the entertainment while people was eating and they won't even give a shit about what you was doing. And I was like, no, I'm not a dancer to do that. But... I could not say no because people convince me that, yeah, that's how you start. That's how you have to do. That's how you make experience. You are obliged to do that. But you know what? The worst is that my mentor was telling us, okay, you, you do it because you have to get experience. Me, I was doing it when I started and I didn't like it. But you, you have to go also through that because that's how you make experience. Don't let people bring this kind of bullshit in your head. Sorry for the language, but really I have to say it very... Honestly, you don't like it, you don't like it. And the worst of it, people, they tell in your face that they don't like it either, but they want you to do the dirty job. A soulful dancer will never agree to that. So to achieve the state of the soulful transformation, you have to clarify what are your core values. What is you or what is not you? You really have to get a clear idea of that. And don't think about what you have been told till now. This is really a deep introspection when you have to ask yourself, do I really like that? Or that I'm really sure I don't like it. I don't want to do that. This is not me. Of course, it can always evolve with experience, with your mindset, with while you are growing up in age, whatever. It can always evolve. That's not a problem. But right now, what you are okay to do or what you are not okay to do. You have to make that clear with yourself first. Then you can convey it to others. But if yourself, you doesn't know if you really like it, if it's really fine or no, or maybe you think it's fine because you are thinking like, okay, uh, I need money. Uh, I need to get famous. I need to get a name. So I have to start at the down of the ladder. I don't really agree to that because then, People will think like, okay, you are a restaurant dancer, for example, and they will only propose you that because they think that that's what you want to do. So a part of what you are being told, a part of your, from your fear and all these things and the society, get clear with yourself about what you like and what you don't like. Even write it on a paper if you need, but get really clear with yourself first. We cannot be fulfilled if we do things we really dislike and make us in pain or frustration. How can you be fulfilled in pain? 
this is not possible. And unfortunately, in our society, we are too much told that pain is okay. It's a part of the job or uh, being frustrated is a part of life. You have to accept it. No, you don't have to. I'm really telling you today, you don't have to. So now, ask yourself, what kind of dance you want to do? How does it look like? Do you want to fuse several influences? What type of costumes you want to wear? What type of event you want to dance in? What type of dance contract you want to get? What kind of places? In what, which kind of places do you want to dance? What do you really want to do in your dance? That also applies if you are a teacher and if you are teaching dance. What kind of class do you want to have? What kind of student? What do you want to teach? What do you want to dance? It applies in every field of your dance journey. So once you have those answers, then you have to switch to the mindset of that dancer who is aligned, happy, fulfilled, and accomplished. That means you must, from now, choose to only think, have thoughts, as if you are already that soulful dancer. Switch your inner conversation and affirm only in the life version you dream to be. For example, know that first, what you are thinking all day, how you talk to yourself. You know, when you are in silence and there is a lot of deep conversation going in your head with yourself, or when you are visualizing some situation or keep dwelling in the same uh, situation that has been stressful for you, that has been not fulfilling, you know that inner conversation, you have to switch it. We are too much used to think in a negative form. So when I said you have to affirm, it means how you speak to yourself, what you speak to others, your thoughts, your inner conversation. So for example, from now, you have to always think and tell to yourself, I always get the dance contracts I want. I am the best. I am so successful. My dance skyrocket. Whatever, you have to affirm something that's aligned with what you want. If you start to think, or oh, anyways, I will again do this contract and I don't like it. Anyways, I never get the contract I want. Anyways, I'm not understood. I'm always rejected. I know this kind of thoughts. I had it before. I had it for many years because no one told me that I could, that if I change my thoughts, it's going to change my reality. I was absolutely not aware of that. Because if you persist and you discipline yourself and your thoughts in the direction of your dream life, I can assure you that it will manifest in the 3D reality. What I call the 3D reality is like the life we are living in physically. And we are too much used to think that we don't have any power of it. It is here. We, we are defeated to face it. This is not true. If you change your thoughts, just changing your thoughts is a yin of action. That changing your thoughts itself will bring you opportunities and to the direction of your dream life. But you have to be persistent because the 3D reality will take little time to align. So I'm planning to release more contents of manifesting your dream life and, and to really get your uh, dancing dream life. It can be also your personal life, but everything related to mindset and manifesting, I'm really planning to release a big masterclass on that or a mini course. So please stay tuned if you want to know more about it and if you are not much aware of what means manifesting. So right now, I guarantee you that the transformation will be huge. I'll guarantee you it won't take months or years. As soon as you decide to be that version of you you are dreaming about, and as soon as you decide to take the action of changing all your thoughts and flip all the negative and 
unfulfilling ones, the reality will already start to shift. It can already start overnight. But you have to build that consistency. So, let's be honest. Today, I already gave you in that very first podcast very important keys to take to lead you to the path to achieve the soulful dance dream and even more. If right now I want you after this podcast and anytime you have the time today to answer first the clarification question about what you want to be, what is your soulful dreaming dancer, how they look like, what they do, what they like, what they don't like, what they accept, what they do not accept. Clarify that. And then once you know that, you change all your thoughts from now that everything is always going in your favor. You are so successful. Your dance is the most wanted dance. You always get the contracts you like. You feel so much fulfilled in your dance journey. Your dance journey is perfect. Once you flip to those thoughts, and even if right now the 3D reality is shitty, doesn't matter. Shift to your thought, shift to your mindset, and things will start to move in the direction you want it. Seriously, after that podcast, you cannot go back to your old life and keep going through the same shit over and over, thinking you don't have a choice. Hell yes, you have the choice. And now you know where to start. So, as we wrap up this episode, I want to leave you with the belief that change is possible. Any change is possible. Nothing is impossible. I really want you to know that nothing is impossible. Even if your situation looks like at the worst at the moment or you feel trapped and there is no exit, I'm telling you that nothing is impossible. Your so full dance dream is within reach. So please, take that first step and keep dancing and taking action towards your brighter future. And see you back in the next podcast next week.